visor. So wait, so that one has a flip-up visor inside. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, right. so I can, you know, it has this one, yeah. and uh, it has a sunscreen in it, which is nice. That might be enough. Yeah. Like, like the one Itchy Boots wears. It's more of a dual sport helmet, but I like, yeah, I like the visor. And yeah, and she wears goggles a lot of times. She wears goggles or she has a shield. I have a cheap helmet that I've had for years. I forget who made it. It's called a Tri-Sport. Hi, I'm Steve Williams and this is Scooter in the Sticks. It's a beautiful morning for a ride to breakfast with my friends Paul and Mike. And while I'm riding, a few things uh, I wanted to talk about. Speed and power in motorcycles. And for anyone who watches my channel, that may seem like an odd topic since I ride a Royal Enfield Himalayan and Vespa scooters, neither of which are powerful or fast. But I recently test rode a motorcycle I wanted to buy, and that changed all that. And that motorcycle was a Triumph Street Twin. So let's go for a ride. So I'm riding with my friends Paul and Mike today. Paul is on his Triumph T100 and Mike is riding his, I think, 1977 BMW R80. And we're heading out to Milheim to breakfast, but I thought when we got there, I would ask them about their thoughts on speed and power. My birthday is approaching. My wife and I were talking about presents. And I realized there aren't a lot of things that I want. I've gotten to the place in life where if I want something, I just get it. But there were two things I told her. Since I was a kid, I've wanted two things. I want a Jeep Wrangler though back when I was a kid it was like a CJ5 and I want a um, Triumph Bonneville motorcycle so every time I go to get a new car I test drive a Jeep Wrangler and as much as I love the way they look I'm always sadly disappointed in what they're like to drive and ride in they just always feel noisy and sloppy to me and since I don't really have any need for the off-road capabilities it just seems like something I should leave in the fantasy realm now the Triumph Bonneville is a different story and I've uh, I've gotten close to them a number of times But recently, Kissel Motorsports had two Triumph motorcycles for sale, uh, used ones, a 2017 Triumph Street Twin and a 2019 Triumph Bonneville T100. And I've really admired the Street Twin for a long time and I've decided it's time to get that motorcycle. So I rode down to Kissel's with my checkbook in my pocket and had arranged to test ride the Street Twin. And it was a beautiful motorcycle. Had a little over a thousand miles on it. Started it up and it just sounded great. 
and started down the road. And I was struck almost immediately by how much power it had. Uh, it would be easy to lift the front wheel off the ground in first, second, third gear, maybe even fourth for someone more experienced than me, but just it's like bristling with power. And even though I know I can manage that power, I don't need it. So there I'd be riding on a motorcycle and generally using 10 to 20 percent of its potential power. And I didn't get far to up the road until I realized, nope, this is not the motorcycle for me. And that made me th start thinking about speed and power and throttle expectations. I can't speak for everyone, but the marketing of vehicles in the United States certainly has really privileged and promoted speed and power. And they've uh, marketed those capabilities as a tool to keep you safe. You can get out of trouble because you can suddenly accelerate. And I've heard <laughs> motorcycle riders talking about that. I need the power to get out of trouble. So you can get out of trouble, I guess, by speeding away from it or dropping away from it. And I'm firmly in the dropping away camp. Let it proceed ahead of me. But, uh, you know, I guess a big part of me thinks the reason all this was promoted is because when you can sell bigger, more powerful vehicles, you can make more money. Personally, I've always uh, shied away from speed and power. I was never someone who was interested or attracted by the adrenaline rush of going real fast or accelerating real hard. I mean, it's kind of interesting, but it, it just seemed kind of, I don't know, a superficial experience. Like I'd ask myself, you know, how does all that speed and power make me a better man? Doesn't enhance my life. Uh, the thrill is kind of short-lived because it's difficult to sustain and you know it's like buying a car with 700 horsepower where, where do you deal with that but anyway that's just me and you know I'm uh, the first to admit that when it comes to that stuff I'm I'm a chicken I didn't like roller coasters and I don't like fast cars and things like that. But going slow and having power, a range of power within the range of how I ride, is what I'm after. So I, you know, I crossed the uh, Triumph Bonneville off my list. But I've been riding a long time now and driving much longer and I've been driving from 16 years old uh, VW Campmobiles and then I had a VW Bug and a 62 Ford Falcon and all of those were uh, weak, powerless vehicles but man, I had fun in them. And it's the same with my Himalayan and with my Vespa scooters. Man, I have fun riding them. And they don't deliver any speed or power. And I can attest to the fact that they've enhanced my life. And I'm not sure a powerful motorcycle would. 
riding my BMW K75, which had a lot more power, could go a lot faster. As much as I enjoyed riding it, it, it didn't deliver what the scooter would or the Himalayan does. So I've started to wonder whether in the realm of speed and power that less is more. So I was wondering what you guys think about speed and power because neither of you are riding anything that's particularly fast and powerful, right? Yeah, I don't, I've never been a, a speed demon. I've ridden with guys that are pretty darn fast. Uh, he's incredibly smooth. The guy he is like amazing how fast he could be. It looks like he's doing nothing. He's a really smooth rider. But uh, it's it's you know I've done it for fun. You know, grab it up and slow back down. And the dealer I get, the last I'm interested in doing that. And, but what's the what's the benefit for going fast? I don't the know, adrenaline just, rush, I think, would be the only, would be the thing. The yeah. But it's like all day long adrenaline rush, or well, that's my point. Is no, I don't. I'm not interested in that. Yeah. I, I just need to cut right to the chase. In America, especially with males, it's mostly about the. And that's what horsepower is about. It's more self-image and how you want to be perceived. So you're gonna you're gonna have a Harley because you want to be perceived, be perceived like Harley people might be, or a 150 horsepower Italian race bike, or a 150 horsepower BMW 1000 RR, or whatever they are. It has to do with self-image because, like Steve said, you don't use that on the street. We're not racing. Those guys with those motorcycles, and I've had those motorcycles, mostly you were cruising along, going to the coffee shop on that damn thing, 150 horsepower, so, but they're pretty. That's the other thing, that there's a, there's a look to those um, $20,000 uh, Apelias and Ducatis, and I, and I bought motorcycles based on the look. They're just really cool. But the... Um, Currently, I have motorcycles and scooters that range in horsepower from 8 horsepower to about 50 horsepower. And the uh, and my Triumph, which is 50 horsepower, seems... Somebody's got granola. Thank you. Oh, 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 sorry, Mr. Thank you. Do you need anything else? I'm good, thanks. That looks good. I'll take that. Yeah. That's, the, that's, not, that's the big, <laughs> big oh, oat milk. Big oat milk. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, so 55 horsepower, I remind myself, is quite a lot of horsepower. That thing will really accelerate. It's it, it's way more than you need. And uh, well, that's it. 50, 50 seems to be about as much as you really need, don't you think? That uh, K75 had more than that. I think it had like 70. But I don't know. I kept thinking, am I missing something? But again, we're all different. Every rider has their own experience, their own desires, and uh, you end up having to make the choice that fits you. So if you like one. Well, that was a good breakfast. Good conversation and some other insight on speed and power. Now we're gonna head on head on back. Well that wraps up another episode of Scooter in the Sticks. Perhaps you can take some time thinking about speed and power in your rides. And until next time, I'm Steve Williams. Be well and ride safe.